Welcome to my channel. Right there is my 11 week old Lycan Shepherd Kratos. There you go. And this is going to be his uh, first uh, leash training hike in the snow. Not his first leash training hike, but his first uh, one done in the snow. I do these early hikes with uh, a very light flexi lead I would normally use on my Yorkies. As I say in my other videos, it gives the puppy the illusion that it's off lead. And then I can give it quick little tugs to uh, coax it to come along if it's not complying. And what we're doing right now is we're imprinting the behavior I want to see in them when I start doing off lead training with them in a few weeks. We're teaching them that they can roam around my area and sniff and check things out, but they have to stick with the pack and move along. And this is the beginning of that, beginning of that process of imprinting it. You can see the end of that process with the uh, all the adult dogs on the channel that have gone through it and uh, the behaviors they exhibit uh, when off leash in my hundreds of off leash videos on the channel now the clicking you hear me do to get him to come along is that same clicking sound i imprinted on them when they were learning to feed at four weeks old and again, this is showing you one of the reasons why we did that. Not only is it good for uh, recall, we can use it for getting them to move along with us as well in these situations. And we can change that uh, sound over to uh, any other word uh, or sound that we'd like in the future once they're responding to it just by slowly incorporating that more into it uh, as we do it, you know. so. If I wanted to teach them, uh, waiting for the car to go by, if I wanted to teach them the word Rumpelstiltskin to get them to come to me, you know, I would click Rumpelstiltskin, Rumpelstiltskin. And uh, again, that would be the process of imprinting that word for that, uh, that command. That's how you transfer the click over to other commands in the future if you want to do that. watching the man over there uh, carrying the baby. Now you can see uh, how their behavior changes from hike to hike, how they get more and more confident as they start getting used to the different sounds and smells in the area. You know, at first when they're doing this stuff it's a lot of new sights sounds and smells for them again they experience the world from a different uh, perspective and through uh, heightened senses than we do Come on. Give a quick tug there And that's how we use those tugs. We give him a couple clicks. If it gets to the end of the lead and he's not and he's not uh, complying, you just give him a quick, quick little tug. You keep it positive. Tug. See? He's not being reprimanded. He's just being told to come along. And see, like he, he begins to learn how far ahead he can go as he hits the lead a couple of times and then he'll, he'll loosen up the slack. And again, we want them to do that because we want them to learn not to range too far ahead. We'll do formal leash training with them after we uh, begin off-leash work. 
by doing it in this order, I find it uh, works a lot better with the, the, the off-leash behaviors I'm trying to incorporate them into them than if I just started working with a lead right away and forcing them to heal. bunch of dogs barking in the window there at the last two houses so that's why he's stopping and looking at the houses I don't know if my camera picks up the dogs in the window you love running through the snow don't you fresh snow and leaves always make puppies and children happy I know because I've raised a lot of both <laughs> Again, if he, he pulls a little too long like that too, I'll give him a quick little tug just to let him know not to. Man, it's just an absolutely beautiful day. I hope uh, everybody's having a good day despite all the madness going on uh, regarding politics and everything right now. Come on. Come on. Got a neighbor snow blowing over there, so we'll go this way. Ah, 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 ah. Get tied up here around the tree. And we got a snowblower there behind us. See, he's pretty relaxed uh, despite having that uh, loud new sound behind him. new things for him to check out again you just keep things calm and positive and let him know to be that way and they learn to incorporate and adjust to these things and get uh, socialized pretty quickly to do sights and sounds you don't want to over coddle or baby puppies when they react negatively to something you're just reinforcing that behavior when you do it We're better off remaining unemotional in those situations when they're stressed and being calm and reassuring. Jeez, do you see that sign? 
it says Kamala Harris and also Joe Biden. <laughs> I thought she was the VP. Ah, come here for a minute. Good boy. So I tell you what a good boy you've been. Yes, you have. Boy. Okay, you want to keep this walks really positive and give them all kinds of praise. Make it a fun experience for them. He's like, but dad, I know we're right at home. Again, if he gets to the end there, I'll give him a quick little tug so he doesn't pull too much. Ah. See, he's excited. Good boy. Well, I hope you enjoyed his first hike in the snow. I know he liked it. He's pretty happy still. Come here, little homie. I'm trying to hook you. I hope you enjoyed the uh, walk. Kratos' first uh, leash training hike in the snow. Come on, Dad, I want to go in. Let's see if I get a couple of good shots of him. He's got such a big triangle shaped head, I just absolutely love it. That's all. Bye. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below. Yeah. <laughs>